Thank you for the roof over my head. Thank you for the clothing in my closet. Thank you for the shoes on my feet. Thank you for the bathroom in my home. Hi, hello beautiful welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Yoshima and I create fashion beauty and lifestyle videos in today's video as you've seen in today's title it's all about self-care and how to be a better you in 2021 so if you're interested in what my thoughts are on that topic please continue watching and don't forget to like comment subscribe share all the good things because we'd love for you to come back all right so let's get into this video so I'm kind of getting ready I already did like makeup concealer my brows and um, I'm just gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna talk to you guys so I want to share five things that you must do in order to be a better you in 2021 now me sharing these doesn't mean that I have already achieved them I am a work in progress like many of us are and I just wanted to share um, what I've been doing to help me be a better me in 2021 going forward so um, I'm going to finish my face while I talk hopefully I can do that I don't think I've ever done a video like this before so <laughs> bear with me um, I actually attempted to start the whole process but I realized I couldn't do it that way so I thought let me come halfway in when my face is like kind of beat <laughs> and finish the video that way so i want to brighten up under my under eye a little bit more so i'm using the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish and i'm using the shade tan it's very very light but it does the job this is what has been making a huge difference in my makeup and i'm loving it all right so the reason why i'm doing this self-care self-love month of content it all started with uh one of my friends she messaged me i think it was in december asking me like what i do for self-care she's been you know searching youtube and trying to find ways and how to like up her self-care game and i thought you know why not do like a whole month of content geared towards self-care self-love um, so I just wanted to start it off. I mean, you guys saw my perfume collection and that was one way to, I guess, introduce self-care to for the month. So because I feel like when you smell good, you feel good and I'm getting my makeup done and I feel like once you look good, you feel even better, <laughs> you know, all those good things. So I just wanted to share just a little bit of what I do for self-care while I talk to you about what I think self-care is and how we can better ourselves in 2021. That was a mouthful. <laughs> so to me, self-care, self-love goes one in the same. I feel like uh, self-care self -care is like the action, like the, the certain things that you do to uh, help you be a happier person. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like manicures because like, I mean that's like a luxury that's not something that you need to do but you do it because you either want to distress or you just want to feel a little bit more feminine so you do that it's a luxury right I get it but self-care is I think more than that it's sometimes saying no like to someone who expects you to say yes um, putting yourself first first uh, getting alone time like just things like that like that's that's self-care to me I I definitely enjoy my own time self-care is definitely on the top of my list so being alone you know doing things that makes me happy is just all very important for your mental health uh, for your physical being for your spiritual growth like it's it I, it's that self-care is like a whole umbrella 
of things that you can do to be well. I forget what I'm saying. I hope, hopefully that came off um, clear, but that's what I think, right? It may be different for everyone, right? It's relative. All right, next, I'm, I'm using sp my sponge, guys. I've been using like a sponge alone. I haven't used a brush on my face. I haven't used a brush on my face for quite some time now and I'm so proud of myself. I'm using this Black Radiance Contour Palette in Dark to Deep. So I'm using the Sculpt shade to do a light contour on the side of my face. This also like warms up my foundation and all the good stuff. Guys, I'm breaking out on the side one thing in order to like be a better you is remember to take some time out to do self-care it doesn't have to be um doing manicures it could be like um taking longer showers it could be uh getting a massage it could be just um meditating it could be prayer it could be going on a date with yourself you know um it could be taking 30 minutes to to clean saying affirmations like those are all good things um that you can do with respect to self-care to help yourself be the best you possible so yeah that's one thing i think is very very important and i've always been like that type of person like sometimes you got to do things on a budget so it, you don't always have to spend money to 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 get self-care done you know it could be sleeping longer on a sunday <laughs> you don't need money for that for me like in the mornings i like to listen to affirmations and i i listen to this particular page i think it's called the unlimited you right here on youtube uh they have like different affirmations that you could say each morning uh there's a 30 30 minute one and there's a I think an hour one so I like to listen to those while I'm getting ready or you know just to help motivate me for the day saying kind words to yourself affirming yourself are good ways to help you be a better you so yeah I also have affirmation cards I've shared that uh, with you guys before so like <laughs> life is really hard so you need to reassure yourself reaffirm yourself that you are who you are you know all right I'm gonna apply some blush I'm using my sponge still and this is the MAC um, Ambering Rose. I really love how this blush looks on me. It's so pretty, so subtle. It has a little bit of sheen but it does the job and I like that. <laughs> Another thing that you can do to help better yourself in 2021 with respect to self-care and self-love is trying not to be so full of self-doubt that's something i've been working on like i can tell myself i'm not good enough or um what i what i've done before uh could have been done better and i would like just tell myself that it wasn't good and i would just feel like horrible about it you know and it's not good it's really not good that's something that i I'm trying to like overcome and I'm trying my best to do that with my affirmations like trusting myself and trusting what I do that what I have done or what I'm doing um, is good enough is is my best and I should be okay with that now I'm not sharing all the, these uh, tips with you guys because I've already reached there I'm sharing them because I feel like within myself I can do better and let's talk about comparison comparing ourselves to others their growth and I feel like me included we do that a lot and too much um, we see others you know living their best life and of course we're only seeing like the highlight reel on uh, these platforms YouTube you know Instagram Facebook we see all these people doing you know all these good things and I'm sure you may feel that way about me as well but I feel like I still have a ways to go I feel like there's still so much that I that I still have to do like stuff like that really gets me um, but it only gets me when I put a lot of thought into it when I don't and I'm like I don't care I'm like that's their life you know I have my life and my life is great you know 
those things help me to like focus on what I have to do and I feel like most of us a lot of us do it we we look at the celebrities and feel like oh they're living this grandiose life and they are <laughs> but a lot of them still aren't happy well we don't know everything about everyone basically that's what I'm saying it's important that we don't compare ourselves to others and trust that everything that you're doing is for your divine purpose like you're on your own journey you're on no one else's journey you were brought into this world by yourself you know so it's okay it's okay like you're gonna be okay like and I've been telling myself like you're gonna be okay like everything um, that you're going through is all a part of what's supposed to be happening and just in enjoy the journey So we've come to the end of the video I thought I was recording that last piece but what I was basically talking about is trusting yourself trusting yourself and your abilities is definitely one thing that I find me myself um, I don't do enough of and that's something I'm going to be practicing in 2021 to help me be a better me just doing my best and trusting that my best uh, will get me where I need to be. You know, trusting the process is always easier to say than to actually practice. So that's, I, I wanna be better in that area going forward. Um, and it definitely stems from um, comparing yourself. Uh, and so like, I don't wanna like look at what other people are doing too much this year. I just wanna focus on what I can do, my abilities, what my passions are, and just continue going forward because you know I'm not getting any younger and <laughs> the, the plan is to just be as great as I possibly can, not just for myself, but for my family and I know um, if I keep procrastinating or doubting my abilities, it's not not going to get me um, where I need to be any sooner. So I just need to keep on pushing and I hope you guys would do the same as well. Um, I know this video might have been all over because this is like the first of its kind, at least for me, um, doing chit chats and doing makeup and talking or speaking on a particular topic is definitely um, a nuance. <laughs> I hope you guys found it helpful. If you don't take anything else away from this video, I want you to remember these five tips that I shared throughout this video. Okay. So be aware of yourself and what you need listen to your body and just use self-care as your way of like just treating yourself well whatever self-care means to you just allow it to be what it is you want it to be for yourself so to help you with your wellness and happiness and your overall well-being I will leave everything and what I use for my makeup in the description bar below. Okay, so if you've made it this far, thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the good things. Don't forget to be your beautiful self and I will see you in the next one. Bye.